Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. I hope everybody's doing well and I want to thank again um, everybody on the channel who is uh, smashing that like button, uh, leaving comments, and subscribing. Uh, we're going to do the giveaway on Tuesday, so if you haven't seen our last video, uh, there are still a couple days uh, for you to uh, get on board and potentially win the Nano VNA or um, the Double Decker Taco. Um, at any rate, um, this is going to be a really fun video for me. I hope it is for you. Uh, we're going to be upgrading the uh, coach batteries on my uh, 2016 Coachman Leprechaun. It's the 240FS. Uh, right now I have uh, two lead acid uh, 12 volt batteries. Uh, they're both 100 amp hour and uh, they're not holding a charge. Uh, the batteries are completely dead. Um, I ran a voltmeter on them yesterday and it's basically at 10 point nine volts so pretty much a dead battery so um, I have bitten the bullet and gone with the lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries from Battleborn and uh, I want to talk about why I'm making this type of investment uh, for myself uh, so the first is my wife and I uh, like to boondock and with the uh, lead acid batteries we have a depth of discharge of no more than 50 percent so even though we have two 100 amp hour batteries and we run those in parallel, we can't get 200 amp hours out of them. We get at best, if we push it, 100 amp hours. With the uh, lithium iron phosphate, you can actually have a depth of discharge all the way down to zero. So I will get a true 200 amp hours, 200 amp hours out of the system. So for me, um, I have already doubled the capacity just by going this route, even though the batteries are quite a bit uh, more expensive. Um, the next thing is, uh, the other reason why is that my RV is part of our emergency plan and uh, we have lots of fires in the area, I've talked about this in other videos, and uh, it's our evacuation plan. So we can take the pups, take our gear, and whether we go 15 miles down the road or 100, um, we have a second house on wheels. So I wanna make sure that um, I'm investing in our ability to evacuate uh, if needed. And then sort of along emergency and preparedness, last night we had a series of rolling uh, brownouts and a blackout uh, for a few hours, and we weren't sure how long it was gonna last. So it would've been nice to actually come back to the house last night um, if the power was out, uh, just turn on the generator uh, or run off batteries and be able to take a shower because we can run the water pump off of um, the batteries or off of uh, the gas generator. Uh, but bottom line is we're on a well, we have a pump, and uh, I haven't made any investments yet in connecting an external generator to our uh, main power at the house. So uh, the RV is actually a nice place for us to escape. Um, and then I wanted some experience with lithium iron phosphate cells in general. I'm planning on building a solar power plant for the house uh, starting with the ham shack and I think I want to have these battleborn batteries um, as kind of my go-to uh, system uh, let's talk about the features um, and again I'm not an expert uh, but I have been doing my research uh, so one there's no maintenance on this um, unlike uh, lead acid batteries um, there's no need to top it off uh, the water levels on the battery um, like I said the depth of discharge for this is amazing uh, traditional lead acid batteries AGM batteries um, those type of chemistries, uh, you can't go below 50% discharge without damaging the batteries themselves. This can go all the way down to 0%, so you actually do get to use all of the cap capacity as advertised. Um, it does have protections built in, so these are very safe. Uh, it has something called a BMS, uh, it's a battery management system, and it provides a whole bunch of protections. So uh, low temperature disconnect, uh, so if you're uh, minus, I believe the, the range is uh, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we need here in the desert. Uh, so it's got temperature disconnects so you don't damage the battery uh, when the batteries uh, are in those extreme uh, temperatures on either side of the scale. Um, it has uh, high and low voltage protection. Um, so very cool safety features built directly into the batteries. And then it also does balance all of the individual cells. Um, in terms of weight, this thing is about half the weight of a lead acid battery. Um, I weighed mine this morning and it came in just under 30 pounds. It was like 
point like eight ounces or something like that. Uh, so quite a bit lighter. So since we have the RV and we are weight conscious, um, I'm saving about 60 pounds in weight now. So uh, if nothing else, I can actually throw my full size uh, 72 hour loadout bag and uh, I'm basically at the same weight I was before just by swapping out uh, the batteries. Uh, the cons, these are very expensive batteries. Um, these ran, I bought two of them, about $2,000 and uh, yeah, $2,017 was shipping uh, from Amazon. Um, so they are expensive. I'll put a link to, below where I got mine. Um, but if you think about it, you get a 10 year warranty with this guy. Uh, you can use the full advertised capacity. Uh, you get way more charge cycles than a normal lead acid battery. This has between 3,000 and 5,000 uh, charge cycles in it. So this is gonna be the battery I have for the next seven to 10 years most likely. Uh, probably seven in this climate. So let's talk about the install a bit. Uh, so I did purchase two of the Battleborn 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate cells. Uh, the model number I believe is BB10012. Um, and these are about the same size of the batteries I currently have in the uh, compartment. So I have two of these. Um, I also needed a lithium iron phosphate power converter. Uh, so my AC to DC system in the rig, um, while I don't have to replace all of it, I do need to replace the board because lithium iron phosphate cells have a different charge chemistry. So I picked this one up on Amazon too. Um, I went with the same company that I had before, which was WFCO. Uh, I believe this ran about $215. Um, and it looks like a pretty simple install. And when I talked to the uh, sales rep on the phone, he had mentioned that I could technically get by with the board I have inside, but it will only be about 90% effective. So for my initial install, I'm just gonna test it out with the current board just to make sure everything is working correctly. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and swap out uh, the, the old board with the new uh, lithium uh, compatible board. Um, tools are gonna be pretty simple, just a socket wrench with an extender, uh, a wire brush to clean the terminal contacts, and I believe that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of prep, I did a, quite a bit of prep. There's another great YouTube channel I'll link below that I actually used to go through this process. And the uh, first thing I did was I took a couple of pictures of the battery compartment so I would have a sense for the orientation of the batteries uh, and then where all the leads are going just in case I need it. Um, I also went ahead and per their recommendation, I also drew a, a diagram that has all of the posts. I numbered uh, the batteries one and two and uh, just have another visual representation if I need to go through and troubleshoot anything. Um, the third thing I did was go ahead and take some masking tape and I numbered the batteries and the connection point if either positive or negative on all the cables so it should be fairly uh, quick to go through that. In terms of disconnecting power uh, to get ready for this, it was fairly straightforward. Um, all I did was uh, turn off the battery disconnect um, in the house. Uh, I uh, flipped the breaker to off for the uh, Onin 4000 generator and then the WFCO uh, power converter. Um, I also went ahead and uh, turned off the, the main breaker and I think I should be good at that point. So guys, really the plan here is um, all I'm gonna stop this video and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just film the rest of the install and just take you with me uh, on that journey. So with that said guys, um, if you can, uh, you know, we're trying to grow the channel, uh, you know, share this, like it, comment, subscribe, do all of that, that would really help us out. Um, I really like producing this content. I know it's a really interesting mix of things, but like I said, I like approaching uh, prepping and just being uh, ready for anything uh, in a very multifaceted way. So hopefully everybody's on board for that. Um, so yeah, um, be strong, be safe, and be prepared.